Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hot Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a Builder Hall video. Want to get this one out because it's pretty important to uh, to people at Builder Hall Five using these baby dragons. So basically, in this video, I'm gonna be going through a bunch of replays, talking about how to use baby dragons at Builder Hall Five. Um, I am a, I am a bit of an early Builder Hall Five. I don't have you know extremely upgraded troops, which basically means you know you can use this same strategy uh, with even farther upgraded troops and it'll be even more successful. So the bases I'm taking on aren't always going to be the best in these uh, in these replays, but they are, you know, decent bases um, that we see in the uh, 2000s uh, trophy range, you know, 2,300, 400, that's about where I am because I, ha I haven't been pushing much lately and I'm a bit of a new builder hall 5. But yeah, let's talk about how to use these baby dragons and how you should deploy them. Even if you don't have the battle machine uh, hero yet, you can still um, get some pretty good tips from this video in terms of just overall deployment. But we'll go over a few things, just take a look at some replays, and I'll do one attack for you guys uh, live, just so you guys can see um, my thought process live. But first, let's take a look at some replays and just kind of talk through it in terms of how you want to do this strategically. Okay, wait for this to finish up here. There we go, 100%. Not all of these are three stars, but they're all uh, pretty solid attacks. So basically, um, the basic fundamentals of this are these things. First, you want to take out any air targeting defenses you can uh, with one camp of archers, your hero if you have him. Try to utilize them and um, you can use all camps of baby dragons, but oftentimes it'll be more effective to try to use some archers if they put their air bomb spawner out like they did in this attack. Get that taken out with archers. If you can get uh, some firecrackers, some archer towers with archers or cannon carts, try to do that. You can use your hero to tank, or you can use him on a different side of the base. He's really good at tanking archer towers. Um, of course, that's really the only defense he can tank because um, that's the only air targeting defense that will also target your uh, um, your hero. But um, the test doesn't really count because it, it's hard to predict where it is, of course. So use your hero to tank for certain archer towers. Use him to take out defenses and use him to tank for archers or cannon carts. Basically, be creative. You have possibly one camp space and your hero to work with. See if you can get a leg up on the base by taking out some valuable defenses before you even deploy your baby dragons. Okay, once you have that part of the attack done, Deploying the baby dragons is pretty simple. You want to, and if I don't follow my own, my own advice in this, these attacks, I do apologize. Um, sometimes it's not easy, but um, ideally what you should be doing is drop your baby dragons first in places where they can't be targeted by anything. Just get those buildings out of the way first. Um, areas of the base where there's no air coverage. That way you can get those free buildings out without your baby dragons taking damage. You can see on the right side of the screen, I probably should have deployed that baby dragon first um, because there's nothing over there that can target it. The reason you do that is because you want to get those free defenses out. Then when that baby dragon steps up and gets targeted by stuff, you drop baby dragons in the area that is being tanked. So for example, a baby dragon takes out some defenses or some buildings that are free, then it steps up and tanks an archer tower. Now you're free to drop anything in, within the radius of that archer tower because that archer tower is now being tanked by the baby dragon. Now in doing so, you may aggro a firecracker. Then you can drop other baby dragons within range of that firecracker because it's being tanked by the next baby dragon. And you just go around the base like that. You don't want to drop a baby dragon within range of something until it's already being tanked by something else. That way you get the most value. And of course, like I said, start in areas where you can get free uh, buildings taken out. That way um, you get the maximum value for your baby dragons. Now, a lot of it comes down to what you're trying to get. Now, you may have a solid base. You may have a weaker base. Um, I'm going to make a defensive video probably for Builder Hall 5 uh, sometime soon so you guys can get some uh, defensive tips. But basically, um, you have to see kind of what you want to get. Now, oftentimes, it'll be a high percentage one star is the best you can do. Um, sometimes it'll be a two star, and sometimes you can even go for the three star like in this attack. But the important thing is you identify that early. You look at the base, you see how good of a setup it is. You may want to do a ground attack strategy. Um, but if you are going with baby dragons, as this video is intended for, 
Think about it, see what you can get. If the air bomb spawner is right in the middle by the builder hall and there's all these archer towers and firecrackers all jammed by the builder hall, maybe the best you can do is a 75% one star. And that's okay, but you have to identify that early because if you try to go for the two star and you fail, then you have a 40% one star or a 40% zero star, no stars, then you're going to be in trouble. So think about your base, think what's, what it's going to take to win against the, uh, the, the person you're going against and do what you have to do. So on this base right here, I wanted to get that uh, air bomb spawner taken out. I couldn't quite get it with the archers. I used the hero to tank a few of those archer towers on the other side of the base. He's called the war machine, I think. Uh, and then I dropped the baby dragons just in the usual fashion. Now you wanna try to keep them separate from each other. You don't want them to clump up. Um, a little bit more on baby dragon deployment, I should say. You don't want your baby dragons to clump up because they lose that raged uh, bonus, the tantrum or whatever it's called. This one, I almost got that town hall. I was going for a two star, um, possibly even a three star if I got that air bomb spawner taken out with those archers, but couldn't quite get it. Um, not the best attack. Anyway, um, it's a decent one star. It'll win most of the time with the base I have. Uh, but for baby dragon deployment, keep them spread out enough that they're not going to be in risk of getting too close to each other. I made a few mistakes in these attacks from, for this video, but uh, for the most part, I think uh, I did a good job. And, the problem with them clumping up is that baby dragon could be used somewhere else, getting the tantrum ability. So you're basically losing the tantrum ability for two baby dragons, uh, specifically the two that are next to each other. So oftentimes you want to deploy them in layers. Actually, almost always you want to do the strategy I said at the beginning of the video in terms of deploying one once it takes tanks a defense deploy another baby dragon in that defense's radius. Just work your way around the base as soon as the defense is aggroed. Deploy another baby dragon within that uh, defensive radius. But oftentimes there's not going to be enough room to deploy all your baby dragons and you're not going to want to do it. So at that point it's important to understand that and then just save two or three baby dragons. Deploy them once one baby dragon dies. Have a second layer of, of your troops that go in that way your baby dragons that do take a lot of damage from multiple defenses can be replenished and you can take out important parts of the base. If you spread yourself too thin, that's not good as well. Um, one last thing as we look at this like live-ish attack here, um, this one I recorded as I was doing it instead of a replay. One more thing I want to add, if you cannot take out the air bomb spawner, you know, recognize it's the most deadly defense to a baby dragon, that, that air bomb spawner with the blue balloon sticking out of it. I think we all know what I'm talking about. That's the most dangerous defense for your baby dragons. If it's leaning towards the outside of the base but you still can't take it out, don't even bother deploying baby dragons on that side of the base. I think on this um, attack right here, it's a similar circumstance. It's pretty well protected by all those defenses but it's leaning towards one side for sure. So I'm not going to worry about deploying baby dragons on that side. I'm just going to leave those buildings. They're not worth it to go for. And the same works if there's a bunch of air targeting defenses on one side. Sometimes it's not worth it. Actually, I deployed one baby dragon down there. Um, but I'm staying away from it for the most part because it's not worth it investing your troop space, especially if you're not going to get the two star, the three star. If you're just going for a, a lesser attack, you don't want to waste your, your uh, valuable troop space attacking a base that you can't, a uh, side of the base that you can't win on. You want to focus on the other side where you can get more value for those baby dragons, more percentage, possibly even the town hall. So not the best uh, attack live, but I wanted to have at least one live-ish one. 59%, um, the base worked. I'm actually gonna go ahead and show the base right here um, because uh, despite you know not the best attacks, um, I've been using this base not for a long period of time, just started it pretty recently, and I've noticed a huge uh, increase in my winning percentage even with uh, my attacking skills still being developing. Let's just take a look at one replay on it. Basically, it's a, uh, a ring base, which are annoying within the, uh, the regular Clash of Clans village, um, but now I'm bringing it to the Builder Hall, and it has all the traps within this moat here, so as they walk around, they hit all the spring traps and whatnot. The Tesla in the middle is good at taking out those small troops if they try to come up for the town hall. And yeah, it's been working out very well. So another defense uh, successfully defended, 46%. I will take that any day, especially without the town hall going down. So anyway, that'll do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if I suck at attacking, uh, if my advice is good, if it's bad, all that good stuff. 
Um, baby dragons are very powerful once you get to like early Builder Hall 5, even Builder Hall 4. Other people rush uh, their Builder Hall often, so that kind of complicates things. But once you get to the level I'm about at right now, uh, baby dragons are powerful, especially if you couple them with your uh, battle machine. So um, I recommend it, and I hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.